Previously on Balance HD. Set of parking brake. Parking brake set. There we go. Engine number one is slowly coming in line. I'm not gonna lie, I really do like this aircraft. I'm not a fan of old school stuff, but this is really well done. Are we ready? Is this gonna end in disaster? Probably. We can try anyway. Let's go. I'm just gonna go give it full power and see what happens. Now, we've passed Echo, which is not good. Ten. Nope, that's not good. Go for 0 0 7 turn right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 and off. 185 on the heading 180 on speed, go for 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 and off to 4 DME. Reduce 160 to 4, speed 121. Hi there guys, hope you're all well and welcome to another welcome on board video. In today's video, it's something a little different. We're going to have full VATSIM ATC for the duration of this flight. I'm currently sat on stand 5 at pronunciation pending Aalborg in the Netherlands. No, not the Netherlands. Oh my god, no. In Denmark, even. And we are going to be flying kind of southeast-ish down to Copenhagen. Now, I did request a bunch of people to come and fly into Copenhagen tonight, so hopefully it will be busy enough for you to see exactly what VATSIM is like when the traffic flow is kind of medium to heavy. So, we have filed the flight plan. I will provide you a link to the PFPX flight plan below if you uh, wish to fly this flight. Other than that, we are good to go. The weather's provided by Active Sky Next, as you all know, and we have GSX ready to, to deal with us. I will be using the inbuilt checklist from Aerosoft in the Airbus X, uh, and also the sounds, which I know I'm going to get a bunch of you ask about, are on the Aerosoft general section of the Airbus forum, on the Aerosoft forums, um, you can download them from there. There is a bunch of uh, upgrades and mods, all freeware, it's great. So, let's get underway. You can turn the checklist on here, and we also need to open the doors to make sure that the checklists work. We've loaded the fuel, by the way, and the payload as always with the welcome on board videos. Now we can let those guys do the cockpit prep. Okay, let's start with the cockpit preparation checklist. Batteries. Set on. Electrical power. And the external power is on. Navigation lights. Set on. Engine master. Both off. Engine mode selector. Checked normal. Landing gear lever. Checked. Parking brake. Off. Flaps. Checked position. Speed brake lever. Checked retracted. Thrust levers. Idle. Transponder mode. Checked standby. Radio control panel. Set nice. on. Nice. Now I can recall. Check. Anti-skid. Four, seven, five. On. Flight director. On. Emergency one, lights. Five, point, one, Set. Zero, no smoking signs. One, zero, two, zero. Set on. On Anti-ice. Off. Prime November. window heat. This is Aalborg Airport. Air information November. Check. Report time. Ventilation one. Pass. Nice. Information Check. November. Check. We are Nautical 3093. Now there will be a lot going on in this video, and if you can't keep up, so then I fully understand. Um, just do your best. On. On. A D I A guy getting shouted at already. Very good. Set to now. Uh, I don't know that the order right on the checked checklist complete. Aspects are level seven and left heading zero three zero. Okay, so we okay, are going zero, from zero, Echo zero, Kilo zero. Yankee Tango to Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel. So we and we are alternate back here, yeah, Echo yeah, yeah. Kilo yeah, Yankee yeah. Tango. Line the IRS's. Our call cool sign is North Shuttle 3093. And I'm going to make the cost index up. 
flight level 210. We have 3.8 tons of fuel on board. Okay, so we're departing on runway 08 left, according to the ATIS. And it's just direct to Alborg VOR. From there, we're picking up the. Uh, what airway is it? Tango 551. To. Tespi. And then from there, we'll be given the star clearance into Copenhagen. Flap 1 today with 60 two degrees. And that is us prepped as far as that goes. So let's call for some clearance. So it was information November, and we're on stand number five. Copenhagen, good evening. North Shuttle 3093, Airbus A320 on stand five at Olborg with information November. Request clearance to Copenhagen. No shuttle three zero nine three, Copenhagen House, number short. Break. Then it's zero zero one. I use that. Where's the station? Where's the station? One. Where's the station? Two. Left. Two. Left. Two. 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 Two.
Full right. Full right. Neutral. Full up. Full up. Full down. Full down. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full left. Full right. Full right. Neutral. Check. Flaps. Flaps one. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Ecam door page. Check. Tan signal. Received. Checklist. Excellent. Now we can request taxi. Copernicus, leaving Vidor 17 Victor, which is item 230. Vidor 17 Victor, Copernicus, hello, identified. Notional 3093, request taxi. Northshore 3093, taxi for Charlie, 08 right, holding point Echo, 08 left. Okay, via Charlie, then 08 right, and holding point Echo, 08 left, North Shuttle 3093. Sweet! It's a bit of a taxi, this place. The, uh, the terminal is really out of the way, and I don't know why. Clear on the right. Whiz it round. Charlie's this taxi right here on the right, so and this goes all the way up to the parallel runway, and then we turn left onto the parallel runway and taxi all the way to the end to Echo. Fingers crossed, there's nothing around, so we could probably get a rolling takeoff without having to do too much stopping. So, I'll call ready for departure as we exit the runway, unless he uh, clears us to take off before we get to the runway. Flight attendant, seats for takeoff, please. Aspect zero one seven, contact zero eight. Before takeoff, checklist, please. Off. Engine Check. Off. Check. 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 So, it's runway heading, which is 082, according to the charts. We'll set that now. We'll keep it rolling. Fifty percent Stable. Take off. FMA check. Then it's 001, you are cleared to set up all runway 10 right after departure. Climb on runway heading to fly level 60, squawk 7314. 100 knots, checked. Cleared in the ball as far as runway 28. Rotate. Scope 7314 Gear up, lights off. Beautiful day. 
or should I say night, extremely calm weather. This view of Denmark on the climax. See much to the right, but still. Approaching 1500 feet now. And climb, climb thrust. We'll shoot a 3 0 9 3 I, then 5 half in flight level 3 8, climb flight level 2 1 0. Climb flight level 2 1 0, no shuttle 3 0 9 3. 21. So, we're in the climb, but this flight is so short can deal with the uh, the arrival stuff as well. So, the transition level at Copenhagen is, uh, let's see, iOS runway 04 left, transition level oh, 5,000 feet is the transition altitude. Surface wind on the ground at Copenhagen at the moment is 35013 and the temperature is 17 degrees the QNH 1018 we have a decision altitude of well, let's see, oh it's good we're done. Okay, plane it was 360 or Our next three. frequency will be Copenhagen approach on 119.8. Right, is in North so we'll Pre tune okay. that. That's really it for now. Just sit back and enjoy the sunset. No shuttle 309 and 3 landing 04 left when ready descent flight level 90. 04 left and when ready descent flight level 90. No shuttle 309 and 3. So we'll just follow Vina path, I guess. To be flight level 120 at uh, Tango November Oscar. Which is already set, so we'll reset to 90. Just wait for the descent marker to come to us. Here okay, comes the descent marker. Okay, let's go through the descent preparation checklist. Seat belt signs. On. Anti ice. Off. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. DH. MDA. Checked. Checklist complete. Notional 3093, we're doing Echo Papa Uniform Kilo. Echo Papa Romeo Uniform Kilo, confirm. Notional 3093. Notional 3093, negative. Echo Romeo Papa Uniform Kilo. Echo Romeo Papa Uniform Kilo, Notional 3093. Well, that was weird. So we're direct to Echo Romeo Papa Uniform Kilo. Uh, yes, sir. 58 miles. Where's that taking me? Initiating descent. Now. FMA check. Radar tilt. Do it at 4,000 feet over there. Set below. <laughs> Yeah, no, we'll shoot three, contact, 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 Three zero nine zero three. Copy approach. Good evening, Papa. Is uh, valid. No speed restrictions for runway zero four left. No, sp uh, no speed zero four left. No shuttle three zero nine three. Descent flight seven seven zero. Descent flight level seven zero. No shuttle three zero nine three. No shuttle three zero nine three. Four two miles for zero four left. Decline thousand feet. QNH one zero one. 
Uh, descent 5,000 feet, uh, 101804 left, and we should all 3093. So we've got 40 miles to run, apparently. The altitude is good, speed is good. Well, one guy ahead of us there, just closing from in this direction somewhere, but it's a little bit too far out to see. Much checklist. ECAM status. Checked. Sliding tables. Stowed. Stowed. Cabin signs. Checked. Nav occurrence. Checked. Barrow reference. Standard. Checklist complete. Nautical 3095, fly present heading, descend at 3000 feet. Fly present heading uh, 135 and descend 3000 feet, Nautical 3093. Nautical 3093, left turn heading 085, clear ILS, report established. Left turn heading 085 and uh, cleared ILS 04 left, will report established, Nautical 3093. I've been to Copenhagen maybe three or four times in a flight sim. And I've never landed on the 04s, so it makes a nice change. Because the terminal is just as you vacate 04. When you're landing on 22s, you have to backtrack. And, not backtrack, but taxi back along the road. Which sucks. Here's the localizer. Yeah, one seven. Let's push across the road. Flaps one. Good evening. Information Q-Vec valid. I expect ILS will be sure to see it away for that. Missed approach is uh, 038 to 500 feet. Then turn left heading 347, climb to 3000 feet. So that's all good. Motion 932, turn left heading 190. Signal to all the pilots on. And that's as fully established. Left 190, and that's the case, Nautilus 932. Localizer alive. Nautilus 3093, fully established, 04 left. Nautilus 3093, contact tower 118 decimal 1, 218 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 Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-4-F-Nautilus-3093-
Alpha 6, is it? Or Alpha... Yeah, it's Alpha 6. No, it's not. Can't be Alpha 6. Whatever. We'll vacate here anyway. Lushed all 3093 vacated Alpha 6. APU on. And the after landing check this one getting in at least. Welcome to Taxi, Alpha, Yankee, and uh, Lima, and Alpha. Crossing runway 3-0. Flaps. Check retracted. Okay, Alpha, check stand Yankee, by. Lima, and uh, check. stand Alpha APU 6, on. and we can cross runway 3-0 in Northern 3-0-9-3. Well, that was a rather abrupt ending, don't you think? I'll show you why. Yeah, Flight Simulator X is a scumbag. We all know this. I don't know why it crashed, it crashed, but you got to see 99% of the flight. All I would have done is taxi to the gate and shut it down, and that would be it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to uh, thumbs it up. Everyone likes a good thumbs up. Uh, yeah, that sounded bad, but still, you get the point. End slate is always beautiful. You can click the previous video which is the DC-9, you can also click the random video button which will take you back in time and teach you how to fly this wonderful Airbus. Until next time, take care guys and see you later.